The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues efforts to ensure St. Lucia achieves herd immunity. The island is soon to receive the third batch of vaccines from the COVAX facility. Health officials noting a slight decline in the uptake of the vaccine, especially the second dose, is urging members of the public to get both doses as this ensures full protection. We have more in this report. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is continuing a robust national vaccination campaign the island over. Health officials continue to assess the uptake of the vaccine and indicate that the highest uptake is noted among the 50 years and up age group, followed by those 25 to 49 years of age and the lowest being amongst individuals 18 to 24 years of age. Assistant Principal Nursing Officer and Immunization Manager Tekla Jabatiste explained that this is consistent with both the first and second doses of the vaccine. It is also noted that the second dose uptake is about 71% of that of the first dose, bearing in mind that we probably have approximately 14%, which is just about 3,000, roughly 4,000 4, 4, persons. 3,990 persons to date who, have not, who are not yet due for their second shot, um, taking into consideration the 10 weeks interval between vaccines. But it has also been noted that we still have a significant amount of people, a significant proportion of persons, about 29% of persons who would have received their first dose who have not taken their first dose of the vaccine, their second dose of the vaccine. In light of this, an appeal goes out to persons who have not taken their second dose of the vaccine to do so. Being partially vaccinated, of course, with one dose of the vaccine, will not afford the full protection that the vaccine affords. Speaking to the stock management of vaccines, the immunization manager explained that St. Lucia has received three main shipments of vaccines, two of which were from the allocated number of vaccines through the COVAX facility and one shipment donated by the government of India. The allocation from the COVAX facility was to cover 20% of the population. St. Lucia Jabatis explained awaits the third installment of vaccines from the COVAX facility, which has been delayed due to a number of reasons, including vaccine logistics and limited supply. She assured, however, that this does not affect the immunization of the public. For the immunization um, program, it's not a significant concern, especially at a time when we note slow uptake of the vaccine. The spacing of the arrival of vaccine shipments to St. Lucia has allowed sufficient time for use of our stock before the next major shipment arrives in country. Two of the previous batches of vaccines that we would have received had expiration dates of June 2021. As at the 30th of June 2021, there were no doses of vaccines from these batches left at our central stores. What this means is that whatever doses of these batches of vaccines that were still here would have been in circulation at the various health centers and vaccination sites. And these would have been used up up to the last day of the vaccine shelf life, which is the expiration date. Remaining stock of vaccines at central stores will expire in two months' time. The Ministry of Health and Wellness continues to plan accordingly. The immunization program, and by extension, the Ministry of Health, continues to carefully plan its vaccine logistics to ensure that wastage is reduced or is at minimal when an expiration date comes, especially with vaccines that have very short shelf lives, such as the COVID-19 vaccine and also the influenza vaccines. The same holds for all other vaccines in the program. The program holds strongly to the first in, first out principle. What this means for us in the immunization program is that every effort is made to use up vaccines with earlier expiration dates first, 
to avoid wastage. In some instances, it means collecting vaccines from facilities with excess, with excess stock on hand and redistribute amongst the facilities, especially to areas where the uptick is highest. The third installment of vaccines from the COVAX facility is expected late July into early August.